This video segment will explain the basics of making a simple latex mold using TAP Premium Liquid Latex Rubber. This information is also available in our Product Bulletin 7A, which can be obtained from our website or in any of our stores. The first step in all mold making is to look at the shape of your piece. Each of these shapes represents specific challenges. In this segment, we will show you how to make a simple mold like this piece. A flat piece like this is easily attached to a non-porous surface as a first step. It is important to fasten the part to the base so that it does not move. A glue gun makes a good temporary bond. When finished, the glue can be peeled off. It is important to make sure any gaps between the part and the base are filled. This can be done with the glue gun or with clay. A piece like this has no natural flat base, so one must be created. Clay is an ideal medium to do that. One method is to cut a flat slab and force the part into the clay. Then, using a sharp blade, trim around the edges to give as natural a look as possible. Now we are ready to apply the latex. Latex can be applied right out of the can. Wetting the brush first can aid in cleaning the brush later. Latex will not stick to most non-porous surfaces, but it is always appropriate to test first in an inconspicuous area. The first coat is the most critical because it picks up all the detail, and any flaws here will show up in every casting. Make sure there are no puddles or thick areas of latex, because they will not fully dry and will ruin your mold. Notice we also apply a one or two inch flange of latex around the outside of the part. This will later aid in supporting the model. After we get the surface covered, go back and eliminate the bubbles by blowing. A can of compressed air works well. Once the first coat is applied, we allow it to dry. Drying can be accelerated by the use of a fan or a hair dryer. Under normal conditions, it can take anywhere from 15 minutes to 2 hours to dry between coats. After the first coat, the brush can be wrapped in a plastic bag without cleaning and reused for following coats or rinsed with clean water. Each coat must be completely dry before adding the next coat. As you can see here, this coat is not quite ready yet. Now the first layer is completely dry and ready for another coat. It is important that each successive coat be completed within 24 hours of when the prior coat dries. Otherwise, the two coats may not bond together and the mold may delaminate later. With TAP Premium Liquid Latex, only eight coats are required to make this mold. We could choose to remove it now, but that would create difficulties in casting. Here is what the mold would be like. Latex is thin and flexible, and so without some way to support the shape of the mold, accurate casting would be very difficult. The solution is to create a rigid shell known as a mother mold to hold the shape of the latex mold. This shell must be formed while the latex is still attached to the master part. We will demonstrate two. The first is plaster of Paris. This material is readily available at any hardware store, is inexpensive, and just requires the addition of water. After mixing with water, the plaster can be spread over the mold. There is no need for a mold release. You must just make sure there are no undercuts that would prevent the plaster from releasing. To make casting easier, create a flat surface to rest the mold on by sliding a smooth board or piece of plastic across the back of the plaster. The plaster hardens in less than an hour and can be removed from the mold. The mold is then removed from the master and then placed in the mother mold for casting. The disadvantage of plaster is that it can be very heavy, especially if your mold is very large. The other method is to make a mother mold out of fiberglass. Fiberglass makes strong and very light shell. Here is the process. Apply a mold release to the latex. 
If a commercial release is not available, something like cooking spray will work also. Measure out a small quantity of polyester resin. Here we are using TAP surfboard resin because it is fast curing. We add the hardener according to the directions on the can. Wet the latex with the resin and then apply the mat in various size pieces and dab with a brush to saturate the material. The reinforcement we will use is fiberglass mat. For this mold, one layer of three quarter ounce mat is just fine. When the fiberglass mat gets wet with resin, it becomes flexible and will conform to the curves and the bends of the mold. Make sure the resin does not go past the edge of the latex because it will bond to the base material. When it is done, allow it to cure. This can take from one hour to overnight depending on curing conditions and catalyst ratios. Once cured, being careful not to cut yourself on the sharp fiberglass points, peel the mother mold off the latex and then the latex off the master. Put the latex in the mother mold and you are ready to start casting.